Hello and welcome back to Exothermic Plays Games. I'm Exothermic and the date today is Monday, October 28th, 2024. I've been doing a countdown of my favorite video games of all time through each day of the year, and coming in at number 65 is We Love Katamari. Katamari games go beyond the idea of just being silly and loop all the way back to kinda hardcore. You play as the Prince of the Cosmos, your father, the King, blew up all the stars in the previous game and you spent that one making new stars to put back out there in the form of Katamaris. In this game, you're still doing that, but more so to flesh things out to people's liking because somehow the people love you. I think. Look, I try to not actually think about what's going on here all that much, if I can help it. You run around to different folks who have requests for things to make Katamari out of, and you just do it. You, you roll them up and then throw them into space. So what's a Katamari? Oh man, what isn't a Katamari? You always start with a teeny tiny little ball and you push it around and stuff sticks to it, but only things that are a certain amount smaller than it can fit. So you start off picking up really little things like crayons and erasers, uh, bottle caps, random junk like that. Eventually, your Katamari will upgrade and get bigger, and you can start picking up markers and lipstick and small toys and such. Then it upgrades some more, and maybe you're picking up cassette tapes and books and picture frames. Then you're picking up things that are like the size of a softball, then a soccer ball, then the dog, then people, then cars, then buildings. Uh, eventually, on some levels, you get so massive, you're scooping up skyscrapers. Katamari should not be taken seriously, but at the same time, you can push for high scores. You can search for secret item collectibles. There's alternate versions of missions with different completion conditions, and especially with some of the earlier levels, the timers are pretty short so that you can run them back to back to back really easily if you wanted to. You can start min-maxing the Katamari and planning routes and trying to come up with the perfect plan to build the best star possible. The game is hilarious nonsense, but it simultaneously makes me think really strategically about what I'm doing and adapting, especially the first time you play a level, just kind of learning the layout and kind of adapting and going, oh, so I should go over there after this because, you know, I know I won't be big enough to pick those up yet, but hey, here's some smaller stuff and now I can come back around. It's, it's actually pretty thought intensive. And the idea of this game being strategic is sort of an oxymoron. You would think it would be impossible. And outside of this game and its predecessor, I don't think anything this silly could be. To go along with the absurdity of the gameplay, there's also some of the craziest dialogue, largely around the king saying something hilarious whenever someone strokes his ego. But underneath it all, there's a surprising depth to the character that I think we didn't get in the first game. I could be wrong. Um, full disclosure, I never played the first game, only the sequel. That being said, the game breaks the fourth wall constantly, and Katamari Damacy exists in-universe within We Love Katamari. Like, the video game exists, characters talk about it, they're like, oh, we saw you in that game we played, you're awesome! It's very funny. Um, but the depth comes from flashback sequences as you keep completing the levels of when the king was the prince growing up under his father, and I've gotta say, while the king is extremely aloof, and probably doesn't pay enough attention to his child, his dad sucked real bad. Like, what a taskmaster jerk face. I actually think maybe the reason that the king folds so much to f any flattery 
from the people of Earth is that he never received any praise from his father growing up, not even a single kind word. So anytime he receives it now, he latches onto it like it's both the first and last time all over again that he'll ever receive a compliment. Should I be psychoanalyzing the Katamari games? Probably not. Will that stop me? No, it won't. Am I going to roll up an entire city and then launch it into space? You betcha. Join me tomorrow as I talk about my 64th favorite game, where I break the laws of physics with guns, and it has maybe the greatest intro ever to a game.